All right guys, so I'm gonna show you the proper way to install seat covers in less than 30 minutes. And I'm gonna give you a little tip as well. So that way you can go from this to that. And now I'm gonna go head over to my friend's house where I'm gonna install this. So I'll meet you guys over there and uh, let's get into the video. All right guys, thanks for everybody that subscribed, liked my other videos. Now for this video, Custom Interiors actually reached out to me and wanted me to install their seat covers. So they had me pick out what seat covers I want. So I actually went with these black leather with the white honeycomb accent that they have. Now, off the get-go, guys, I'm not one that loves seat covers. I think they look a little cheap. They never fit exactly, but I actually did some research on them. Custom Interiors actually does a quality job, and hopefully after installing this, it lives up to it. Let's uh, get into this and uh, show you guys how to install it, and I have a little secret to tell you of how to make leather seat covers fit better and you're not struggling trying to put them on. So let's get into it. All right guys, so before we start this install video, I just have to reference this really quick. Now, if you've seen my previous video about the eight accessories that you need, if you haven't seen that video, it's gonna be right up somewhere over here. Click it right there if you wanna go check it out. I highly recommend it. But one of the accessories that I had on there was this phone holder that was custom for the Tacoma because it's contoured to the dash. Now in the video, you'll see that you have to clip it in and it's kind of a pain to take it out. Now this one works a lot better if you have a MagSafe case. Put it right there and pull it off when you need it. It's that easy. And I'll put this product in the description below. Hopefully you guys like this a little bit better. All right, so I promised you a little secret tip to help when you're installing leather seat covers because like leather boots, they're stiff, they're hard, you gotta work them out. So the little tip I have for you is actually use a hair dryer. The heat from the hair dryer will actually warm up the leather, making it expand a little bit and a little bit easier to play with. So when you're trying to wrap it around a seat or a headrest, it's actually gonna be a lot more easy to play with. Guys, I've been looking at your comments below and everybody's pushing me to start my woodworking YouTube channel for my woodworking company, Jacob Henry Customs. Now, this is one of my dreams. I always wanted to be a woodworker and for you guys to support me, that's amazing. So I'm actually doing it. The link down below is gonna be my YouTube channel for the woodworking company. I haven't had any videos on it yet, but trust me, they are gonna come. And for the first thousand subscribers, I got something in store for you guys. You guys are gonna get a little gift from me just because I love you guys and all the support you have given me is amazing. And I can't thank you enough. And if you're new here, please like and subscribe to this channel and this video and also go follow that one as well. All right, let's get back into this video, guys. First step you're gonna wanna do before anything is take off your headrest. That way they're off. It's gonna be easier to install everything else. So let's just go ahead and unclip all these and pull them off and get it going. So after you heat up your leather so it's a little bit more flexible, Custom Interiors, their seat covers come with these little Velcro. Now I'm thinking every other seat cover is kind of the same way. So you're gonna pull it through and then Velcro it so it's tight. But instead of attacking the headrest from the front and trying to get it on, I found if you'd start with one end and just take your fingers and pull it from that, it pops on like that. And so once they're on like this, you just take your Velcro put it on your hip and Velcro it tight, just like that. Now that's just one headrest. I'm gonna get these other ones done. And uh, once I'm done with that, I'm gonna come back, start installing the actual seats. I came across a little tip while installing these that would probably help you guys out there. So when you get about here, it's gonna be really tight. And instead of squeezing it and trying to push it against your body, use the ground and just push down and then let it roll on top. And uh, that's it for the headrests and onto the seats now. So we're gonna start with the driver's side and for the driver's side, each uh, front seat's gonna come with a zipper on one side. Make sure the zipper is towards the door to make it easier to take off, take on, and it's just how it's supposed to go. So what you wanna do 
is take your non-zipper side, put it on the far side, and just pull down. Make sure that it's not folding inside and just stretch it on. And because of that zipper, it allows you to have a little bit more play to it. And then uh, once I get this fitted right, I'm gonna show you about these headrest little holes. So let me get this fitted on and I'm gonna show you a closer look at these headrests. So once you have the seat cover on, you're gonna see these little holes right here. They're actually for the headrest clips. And luckily they're already cut out. And all you do is just squeeze down and let these headrest clips kind of fall into place. And there you go. I'm gonna work my way around and show you these clips. So these clips go in between the seat and the back rest of the seat. So you just gotta push it far in there and there's gonna be a little crevice that you're gonna feel that it just hugs nice and fit right in there. So now we have the back of the seat on, time to do the actual seat. So let's get that on. So for the actual seat part, now, on custom interiors, they have this clip that goes underneath the seat and you're just gonna clip it like that. And now these hooks, and there's gonna be a bar right under here that you're gonna pull it and attach it to. That way the leather just wraps around the seat nice and tight and looks like it's contoured, like it's supposed to be there. So we had a little bit of an issue when we originally filmed this. So the seat covers in the back are already installed, but I wanted to show you that they just go on the same way with the clips. You stretch them and just clip them like that. And for the back of the seat is the same thing, but it's essentially the same method as the front. I just wanted to show you where the clips go and let you see exactly how it looks when you're installing it. So I just showed you guys how to put in seat covers properly in under 30 minutes. Now, if you guys like this, please subscribe if you're not and uh, leave a like and a comment and tell me what you want next time. And again, if you haven't subscribed to my Jacob Henry Customs, my woodworking channel, I would love for you guys to do that. You guys told me to do it and I did it. And for the first thousand subscribers, like I said before, you guys are gonna get a little treat. But until next time, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.